Infighting, Dysfunction. It's a book that, in part, spills family secrets of Blackhawks owner Rocky Wirtz, and he cooperated on the book. I spent some time with Rocky. No question was off limits, so I asked lots of them, and he answered. What's up, Rock? How are you doing? Good. Can I get a picture with you? Sure you can. Walking down the United Center corridor, Rocky Wirtz seems to have a sea of admirers, but it wasn't always that way. Growing up and everyone wanted to boo the words, you know, name in any way. Thanks to years of perceived sure. neglect of the team by his father, Bill, keeping the games off of TV and exiling one of the greatest of all time, the Golden Jet Bobby Hull in the early 70s. 600 National Hockey League goals. Well, it started with, with when Bobby left because at the time, people don't realize when Bobby left, he was as big as Michael Jordan was in Chicago. Such drama would be worthy of a book. And now it is, The Breakaway, the inside story of the Wirtz family and the Chicago Blackhawks. What do you think the most surprising thing in this book is that people may not know about? Basically the dysfunction. There's an ending of family, and people can relate to that. Rocky's grandfather, Arthur, created the Wirtz Corporation, founded on liquor, banking, and real estate. Upon Arthur's death in 1983, Bill was in charge, and Rocky and didn't that always that agree with him. Grandfather and dad, I respected them uh, greatly. They were good businessmen, and they had their beliefs, and so their belief uh, was what they thought was right. It all changed with the death of Bill in 2007. Rocky, the eldest of five children, would run the corporation. So with no hockey experience, he took over the Blackhawks. His brother Peter resigned from the team. Within two and a half years, they won the first of three Stanley Cups in six years, going from reviled to revere. There is still great strife in your family. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I, just, I mean, every family has, has something going on. That's their call. You know, I don't have an unlisted phone number. Uh, when we won the, the, the cup in 2010, they all got rings and we're all invited to the uh, parade. And if they chose not to show up, that was their business. As for the family business, according to Forbes, the Blackhawks are worth more than five times what they were in 2007. However, Rocky's chilly relationship with his siblings has not thawed. I work for a family, and you do what's right for the family. And if, you know, if anyone realizes not everyone's on board, but at the end of the day, I promise you their checks are bigger today than they were 11 years ago. Rocky is now on a mission to sell this book, which benefits Blackhawks charities. You just personalize this one to Frankie. So what feedback has he received from family and friends? Surprisingly, I've gotten no feedback. No feedback? Nothing. Even from the ones you talk to? No. Nobody's giving you no feedback? No one said anything. <laughs> that's, that's surprising. Or maybe it's not surprising. <laughs> maybe they don't want to pay the money for the book. <laughs> As we mentioned, all the money raised from the proceeds of the book at Rocky's direction will go to Blackhawks Charities. And I asked him, why did you want to do this? And he yes. said, because I wanted to raise money for Blackhawks Charities. But he put all the, the family business out there. Yeah, on some level, so many of us can relate. Maybe not to this extent, but there's always some sort of dysfunction. I, I, think, he wanted, I think he wanted people to realize it happens everywhere yeah. in all families. Well, it